So this is a uh, recent installation of one of our swiveling bridge mount drive fire hydrants. Uh, this one's installed on Winery Road over to Black River in Proctorsville, Vermont. We'll uh, take a walk up there and look at it closer here in a minute. It is our longest pipe we have ever done. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of an experiment for us. That pipe is 22 feet long, which means we had to take two 20 foot lengths and figure out how to make that distance. So one of the worries about it is sag in the middle. So we used uh, a 80, schedule 80 coupling in the middle uh, to help fight some of that sag during uh, stowage. We worked with uh, Troy Dare, uh, the Vermont Rural Fire Task Force, which is uh, the grant program to help fund the installation of these things in Vermont, an excellent program. Uh, wish more states would model after that. But we got this installed in about a day. Uh, we just did a flow test earlier. We got 984 gallon a minute out of it. The lift is 18 feet. We had a 1250 pumper on it. And our elevation here is just shy of a thousand feet. So that's probably about right for a 1250 pumper at a thousand foot elevation, almost 20 foot of lift. Let's go take a look at this. Uh, using ETT components. Uh, so using their six inch stream strainer and their six inch female swivel head is what they wanted to use here in Proctorville. Uh, one of the issues is ice potentially here. So there are uh, a couple cleats down here or uh, I'll say rods that when we drop this in, it can break ice. Here's the 80, Schedule 80 coupling that was used in the middle of the pipe. There's our swivel, and then the suction head. So it is the downstream side, which is good. This, this river does not top over. It does get high, but it doesn't top over. And if you notice, you don't see a ton of big storm debris. There is, you know, like some a few things there but you're not looking at big trees and those kind of things so uh, it is a good candidate plenty of water there is six foot of water when we deploy this thing there is six foot of water over top of that strainer so uh tons of water here a uh, really good uh, source for the proctorsville volunteer fire department and uh, we'll post some other pictures of it along with this video but uh, one another one of our installations in vermont funded through their state grant program which again is a really well managed and designed program. Uh, other states should try to follow suit on that. So we're heading back to Maryland. Uh, had some good weather up here. We were able to, and some good help, we were able to get that uh, squared away and installed pretty fast.